So now for the next condition, which we'll be looking at, we'll be looking at a subarticular cyst. Now, subarticular cyst is um, more popularly known as what? Subchondral cyst, or you could say subchondral bone cyst. Still the same thing. Okay. So it just simply means that there's a cyst here. All right. So we get to look at the definition, we get to look at the causes, we get to look at the symptoms, the diagnosis, and treatment of these conditions, okay? Subchondral cyst, subchondral sub bone cyst, subarticular cyst, the same thing, okay? So we said that what a, a subchondral cyst is also known as a subchondral bone cyst. It's a fluid 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 filled sac that forms within the bone under the cartilage in the joint all right under the cartilage okay in the joint okay so these cysts are often associated with medical conditions like what osteoarthritis which is a condition where the joints okay where the cartilage between the joints is basically wearing away or wearing out okay so let's look at the causes like we said osteoarthritis osteoarthritis is the most common cause of subchondral cyst all right and this is where the breakdown of the cartilage leads to increased pressure and blood flow in the subchondral bone, okay, resulting in what cyst formation, okay. It could be joint injury. So trauma or injury to the joints can actually lead to a development of subchondral cyst, okay. It could be rheumatoid arthritis. In some cases, late stage rheumatoid arthritis can actually cause this cyst, okay. Symptoms. There will be pain and swelling, of course, right. Okay, you see them on x-rays, you see them on x-rays, okay. So the cysts themselves may not cause symptoms, but they can contribute to joint pain and swelling. There will be limited joint flexibility, so the presence of a cyst can actually limit the range of motion in the affected joints, okay. Then grinding sensation, some people may feel a grinding or scraping sensation when moving that joint, okay. Diagnosis, of course, you see all the images here is basically x-rays, okay, or MRI scan can actually help you confirm. Medical history, a doctor can review the patient's medical history and symptoms, and this will also help you in confirming what the problem. So, how can you manage this what? Um, osteoarthritis, okay. Uh, one thing is, if... If it is osteoarthritis that is causing it, then focus on osteoarthritis. If you treat the cause, the disease will go away, okay? So you manage it. The aspiration. So in some cases, the fluid from the cyst may be drained just to remove, relieve the pressure, okay, and pain. Surgery. If the cyst causes significant symptoms or joint damage, surgical intervention may be considered, okay? So that's it for what? Subarticular cyst and sub also known as subchondral bone cyst, right? Causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatments.